Hi Fremont. This week we are reading and praying over and hopefully memorizing Romans chapter 12 10. I'm going to read to you all from the NIV translation. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Now I read a few different translations and I, I really like this one. Um, obviously they're all good, but some of them talk about brotherly love. I really connected to this translation because I love the language devoted to one another in love. That word of devotion, that connection um, really spoke to me this week and God's timing for this devotion in this particular scripture was perfect as I have been um, finding that I've been trying to help my daughter who is in the fifth grade navigate through some tricky friendships. So we are, we're starting to experience some of the different challenges um, that I remember experiencing in the fifth grade and the sixth grade and seventh and eighth grade. Um, just thinking back to those times of what relationships felt like and changes to relationships and how do you deal with hard personalities or just conflict that exists within young people and even us as adults. And one of the things that I appreciated about this scripture is it taught me as I coach her how to respond to these relationships and these challenging aspects of friendships of how we, what our posture can look like to others. Because I think it's so easy to see somebody who might say something or do something hurtful and to look at them and think there's something wrong with them, that there's a problem with them and then our response may be negative. But one of the things that I really am taking away from God's word this week is that if we just change how we see it and we change our response from wanting to be defensive or angry or frustrated and instead lead with love and to look at that person and possibly see why are they acting like this or saying these things are those things, are those behaviors or words coming from a place of hurt? Can our response be to love and to lead with love that can maybe change how that other person is struggling and responding to us? And so it's, again, it's hard, at least I have found, especially as a mom, I want to save my daughter from these tricky feelings and these hard circumstances, but we all know it's just part of life, it's part of relationships. And what we can see from God, what he is teaching us of how to be Christians and how to care for others and especially how to care for, for his, his sons and daughters, other believers in Christ, is to lead with love, to be devoted to one another in love and to honor others above ourselves. And it's a beautiful lesson that I think that we all, at least I know, is something that I am continually working on. And so I just I just wanna go back to that, but actually I'm gonna hop back even into Romans 12, nine, to just start with that that love must be sincere, that we must hate what is evil, but cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love and honor one another above ourselves, above um, yourselves, as the scripture says, but for me, above myself. And just remembering that when we are interacting with each other, that there might be mean words or actions, hurt feelings that cause us to do or say things that are designed to hurt other people. But as Christians, we have, to, we have to hate those words. We have to hate those actions, but cling to the goodness that we know exists within each other and to lead our response and to lead what we do to others with love and to really cling to that and to be sincere in that love. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week and I am looking forward to praying over this scripture on Wednesday um, and just keeping, keeping my mind and my thoughts on this as I go through the week and as I continue to parent my little one um, through these tricky relationships. Have a great week, Fremont.